Well, hello there, and welcome back to Game Dev. Last time, we had Space Pandas, which was very successful. But our Raptor Cowboys, not so much. It's just come off the market. Didn't do too well. Not impressed. We've got some industrial news. Industry news. <laughs> Industrialism. Today, Nivento has confirmed recent rumours and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called the TES early next year. The console features cartilage-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Okay, we need to get ourselves a new project right, right now. Right. New project. Uh... Catman. Defender. Defender? Catman Defender of the Galaxy. Catman Defender of the Galaxy. Pick topic. Time travel. Yeah. Pick genre. Adventure. Pick platform. We're going to use the more expensive one now. We're going to use the G64. Let's do it. Obviously, we're going to have uh, these 2D graphics again. Catman, Defender of the Galaxy. We want the gameplay to be amazing, the quest to be amazing. That's it. That's it. Build design. Dialogues be amazing. Everything needs to be awesome for this. Thank you to Lauren from Patrick and Daniel Klong, Greenheart Games. Hi Lauren, we're the creators of Game Dev Tycoon. We'd like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Not a problem, guys. I like your name, Greenheart Games. That's pretty awesome. Thanks. Game Dev is our first game and it means a lot to us for you enjoying it. With your purchase, your support, our little startup, this will hopefully make sure we bring more games in the future. I hope so, because I'm enjoying this. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much and have fun with Game Tycoon. I like that they've done that, that's cute in the game. Right, keep building, just keep building. Okay, um... Sound down a bit. There you go. Nice. Now let's put the graphics down a teeny see bit. Because it's, you know, he's a galaxy defender, he needs to be in that these scenes are beautifully designed. We need to get those bogs out. There you go. Boom. We're losing money, but hopefully we can gain money with this release. New record, yes. That's excellent. Give me all the pints. Okay, let's release the game and see how well this does. Achievement unlock. Good judgment. Create a game with a good topic and genre combination. Thank you. Achievement unlocked. The first reviews of our newly released game, Catman, Defender of the Galaxy, came in. You love it. You're gonna love it. Has its moments. Well, yes, of course it does. It's amazing. Not bad, not good. Ugh. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Falls a bit short. Hey, they got nothing. There you go, Catman Defender. That's it. Sell, sell, sell. Where are we ranking? We got us some fans already. Contract work. Hi there, I've just finished. Catman Defender of the Galaxy, and I was very impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you're ever short of cash, just let me know. I'll have some work for you, Jason. Contacts have now been unlocked. To see the available contracts, close the message and then click any on the screen. Okay, so let's do ourselves a game. Actually, let's do some research. Let's get research. Can we still not? Oh, man. Okay, let's do a new topic. Surgery. Actually, military. Today, the new game platform TS by Nivento has been released. Excellent. We have five fans. 
Or something, I suppose. Oh, free. Oh, no. You've successfully reached a new topic. A military. Yes. Fans. Fit fans. A game report. Show me. <laughs> Show me what we've done wrong. I would love to know. Catman defended the galaxy is now off the market. It's sold 9,543 units <clears throat> and generating 66,829 in sales. Yes. Our post-release analysis of Catman Defender of the Galaxy is complete. We've got the following results. Time travel and adventure is a great combination. Sound seems to be not very important for this type of game. Well, shit. Okay, that's, um... Developing a game. Toast versus Nazi. Mmm. Mad Hatters. Let's do it like this. Mad Hatters. World War 3. World War. Let's do it in World War 2. Mad Hatters, World War 2. Pick topic. Military. Pick genre. Action. Pick platform. We're going to use... We can't even afford this. We're going to have to go back to using the G64. Sadly. Mad Hatters at World War Two. Uh, let's turn this up, turn the engine down a bit, have the game play up, and the stories and quests down actually, and then have the engine up a little bit. There you go, we don't really care for quests or stories for this, it's all about the gameplay and the engine. Excellent, get those points going. Yes, we need one more, good. Okay, uh, let's have the dialogues down. Artificial intelligence level design, there you go. They don't need to speak, they just need to shoot things, really. Don't really care much for the world design. Graphics can go up, sound can be hereabouts. The bank account was in red. Thankfully, the bank account was enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50, but be careful if your account balance is below 50k, you'll get bankrupt. Never! I can do this. We can do this. Let's finish the game. Come on. Come on. Nearly. Done. Thank fuck. Let's see how much we've gained. A level up. Level up. Level up. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Release this game. Let's get our cash back. Not that it's all about cash, it's more about the design of the game. The first views for our newly released game, Mad Hatters World War II, have come in. Fun of stages, excellent. Has seen better. Shows potential. Falls a bit short. Well, then. Yes, finally money. Oh god. Oh god. I'm going to work on a new game while that happens. Let's work on a new game. Actually, no, we can we can do the research while that's going on. We can actually research a new custom engine. Let's start that going. Mad Hatters has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history for Turtle Quicksilver. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Research has been complete. We've researched a custom game engine. You can now create your own game engines. To get started, close the message and click anywhere to bring up the actions menu. New research available. Game tutorials and mono sound. Excellent. Um, where was it? Create custom engine. Um, let's call it... Tentacle. <laughs> I don't know. 
Tentacle zone. Tentacle zoo. Tentacles. Tentacles. Maybe like that. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, let's do it. Actually, it's a little bit too much. Oh, can we not make it? Okay, uh, maybe like that. Maybe like that. Yeah. <laughs> the recent, recent released TES home console by Nevento has proven to be a massive success. Sound of as expected by exceptions by far. As one customer says, I love the games that come with the TES and playing with control is so much more fun than a keyboard. You're now creating your own custom game engine. Once the engine is finished, you'll be able to use it when creating new games. That's it. Do your little research. Can I make a new game? No, I can't while I'm waiting. I can generate a game report though. While well, that's going on. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, nearly done. Mad Hatter's World War Two is now off the market. It sold sixteen thousand two hundred seventy-six units, generating one hundred thirteen thousand nine hundred eighty-two in sales. We need a new game. Our post-release analysis of Mad Hatter's World War Two is complete. Military and action is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be quite important to this type of game. Platform genre match is good. Okay. We need to make ourselves a new game, but we're waiting for our um, game engine, Tentacle Z, to be finished. Tentacles. Your new game engine is now complete. Yes! Congratulations! Your first game engine is now ready. You should try using it on your next game. Well, I'm going to leave that here, guys. Thank you so much for watching Game Dev Tycoon. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a comment below, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye!